Well, hello there, skeptics. Uh, Steve here in Sydney. I've got something to show you um, that people often mistake for a paranormal effect when in fact it's simply the well-known idiomotor response that James Randi often talks about with some authority. It's the idiomotor effect is well known to mainstream psychology, mainstream science, is acknowledged by James Randi, talked about by his good self, and uh, I just thought uh, any skeptic interested might like to personally experience what the idiomotor effect actually feels like. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration here of how easy it is to actually experience. Now, when you can do this, you can show it to other people and you can speak with some authority when you're uh, talking to other people that you might consider too gullible for their own good. Okay? So uh, it's really this simple and uh, it seems like a magician's trick and I suppose in some ways it is. It's certainly a very pleasing thing. It can be done in company and parties. Uh, it can amuse people at the bus stop. But um, this very simple idiomotor effect is a simple natural physiological effect, um, greatly overblown and thought to be paranormal by some of the more gullible people in society. But here we go, magician's trick done like this, it's so simple. Now can you do this with me, skeptics? Hands out like this in front of you. And all we do is clap four times. One, two, three, four. And then we just keep our hands opposite, palms facing three or four inches apart. And all we have to do, fellow magicians, is to wait about 10, 15 seconds, uh, perhaps 20 seconds. And you will find, rising in your hands and fingers, a slight tingling and or rippling effect. Some people get one, some people get both. A few oddballs get warmth or coldness, but the great majority of people get tingling and rippling. Now, while I've been talking, time has gone on and it's got much stronger in my hands. Did you clap your hands with me? Are you holding your hands out now? You can do it right now. Take your hands off the mouse, hands off the keyboard, and do what I'm doing now, holding our hands out. Two or three inches apart, right? Now, if you get to this stage with me, you can let, now learn the next step of this magician's trick. And it simply goes like this. You can move one hand in and out like that. One hand, one hand, one hand moves. The tingling sensation registers the movement of your hand. You will notice this. And then to your surprise, you will likely discover this idiomotor effect has another strange attribute, which is often thought to be paranormal, which of course is not. But we skeptics know what's what, don't we? Because we're more scientific thinkers, we're more rational people. So we find we get a patting sensation by moving the dominant hand here. In this receiving hand here, the patting sensation can be felt. Clearly there is no touching between the hands. This will work on your hands, skeptic watching. Do it with me right now. Drop the mouse, drop the keyboard. Hold your hands out in front of yourself and just practice what I'm doing now. Now, uh, it's that simple. This is the idiomotor effect uh, endorsed, uh, studied and discussed and spoken about with great authority by the great James Randi. Make no bones about it. This is a completely natural effect and is definitely not paranormal. Never to be thought of as paranormal at all. Once you can get the hang of this, uh, you can speak with some authority about the idiomotor effect. And now I'm going to show you, you've had enough time to get your hands out and there's been enough time for you to, to copy this um, demo that I'm doing with my two hands here, moving one hand, moving the other. I'm going to show you another effect, which is quite remarkable. And this is simple physiology, right? It's simple physiology, nothing paranormal. The patting effect works. You can feel it in that hand. Okay. Now, you keep patting, and you can pat your wrist. You can pat your forearm. You can pat your elbow and guess what? You can still feel the idiomotor pulses in the palm of your left hand, the receiving hand, while you're patting your arm, your elbow, your upper arm. It is a most surprising thing, this wonderful idiomotor response. Very good for aspiring magicians. Very impressive thing. Okay, just to do this. So, this is absolutely natural. 99% of people can do this in about 30 seconds. Five-year-old kids can do this. I have taught it to three-year-old kids. Okay, so 
Definitely skeptics can do this. This is not hypnosis because it's physiologically measurable. Okay. Now, you can also do it the other way just by moving to this side and pat with the other hand. Okay. The receive pulse is now going to this palm and you can actually feel it. And I can move down my other forearm here to the elbow and I can still feel the pats landing in the palm of this receiving hand. Okay. So this is the well-known idiomotor response. It's a physiological thing you can feel. And uh, a wonderful magician's trick to show people. It wows people at parties. Wow yourself with it. Now you know what, exactly what James Randi is talking about with some authority. You can now discuss this, talk about it, make videos about it, etc. Um, and you can practice this every day and you'll find it comes more easily. Um, now, who can do this? Answer. 99.994% of people can do this. They receive that tingling or rippling effect in their hands within about 35-40 seconds maximum. 5% of people take a bit longer for their hands to warm up. 3 or 4 days, maybe 5 days. So if you had a bit of difficulty, you didn't get any tingling or rippling sensation in your hands of this very uh, natural uh, idiomotor effect, just practice every night before bed and uh, typically by the end of the week your hands will suddenly start tingling and you'll wonder why you took longer than everybody else but that's only happens to about one person in 20. Okay, so um, a wonderful thing this idiomotor response. Um, skeptics well familiar with this. Uh, it's a good thing to have under your belt to have some knowledge about and it's the basis of many um, misconstrued and misunderstood paranormal claims. Okay, uh, some of the more gullible people do rabbit on and on and on about this and uh, I'd just like you to know so you can demonstrate, you can show people the idiomotor effect. It's little more than a magician's trick but it's certainly measurable with scientific instruments so James Randi is absolutely spot on when he describes it. Okay, not uh, uh, experienced by themselves. Now anyone can do it. It's so damned easy. All we do is this. We go Hands off the keyboard, hands off the mouse, clap with me. One, two, three, four, and just wait. We've only got to wait 5, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 25 seconds, perhaps 30 seconds. Now, that rising uh, effect, that patting effect that you've got there, which soon arises, the tingling, there's a kind of repulsion effect. It's a bit like playing with magnets when you're a kid. And you'll find that there's there seems to be a kind of uh, field around your body, this idiomotor field, and um, it feels like the surface of bath water, okay? Or a bit like a magnetic field that you've played around, I'm sure, with. It feels a bit like that. And there's pats going through the airspace into my other arm here, okay? Now, um, and you can pat the other way like this, okay? Just like this. You can pat either way. Either hand can receive the signal without touching. Okay. Now, I'll tell you a couple more things about this wonderful idiomotor effect. Um, you can do it to someone else while they're asleep. How about that? You can pat their body field, their idiomotor field. Just wait a few seconds and you put your hands on them while they're asleep. You might do it with your sleeping partner. You might do it with a child that's asleep. And what you can do is you just go, without touching them, just pat, pat, pat. Something's going to happen to them while they're asleep. You disturb their idiomotor field and what happens is their eyes start flickering. Both eyes will start flickering, right? You'll actually see this happen, right? So you can play with the field like this, pull it out like sort of like chewing gum, or pull it out like that uh, with one hand. And with, this is without touching them, okay? So works on children, works on animals, proving it's absolutely natural, this idiomotor effect. So that's something else you can do to check that this is completely natural and therefore cannot be paranormal. It's not possible to call this a paranormal effect. So you can run around 
straightening out and explaining to people that they are quite deluded if they think this is a paranormal thing okay and you are absolutely right to say this okay so um, now I've already told you 99% of people can do this in about 35 40 seconds um, and some people take uh, maybe a few days for their hands to wake up to this idiomotor effect that's okay now this wonderful and entertaining magician's trick using the totally natural idiomotor response is a wonderful plaything. it's a toy you can mess about with it on the bus um, sitting at the traffic lights while you're waiting for the lights to change you can do it in a bank queue you can do it anyway just play around with it like that okay so now you're well in control well understanding the famous idiomotor response as explained by the great James Randi now so far it's just known to be a physiological effect that you can feel the patting feels like the surface of warm bath water there's a slight resistance to the movement of your hand as you pat this idiomotor field around yourself okay and we've also gone through the fact that it works on sleeping people and their eyes will flutter as you move your hands through their idiomotor field and uh, you'll also find their fingers and toes might flick while you adjust their uh, their body field but pulling it in and out like that okay while they're asleep so you can do it with your sleeping partner do it with children wonderful thing to do now by the time you've got the hang of this dear skeptics uh, you play around with it for a few days it becomes very average and mundane and you might say well what's all the fuss about you know what's everyone what's all the ballyhoo about this being a paranormal thing well it's not paranormal at all it's really completely natural it's uh, everyone's got this idiomotor field about them and uh, the good news is that there's some confirmation that it leads to something and this is where the magic comes in by the end of the week you just play around with this playing with children playing with sleeping partners fluttering their eyelids that sort of a thing uh, it works on animals dogs sleeping kittens that sort of thing by the end of the week something wonderful is going to happen you are going to have some vivid messaging dreams they will be so arresting that you'll need to keep a diary they will really really wake you up they're a wonderful experience and when I say a vivid messaging dream that's very arresting I'm, I mean it this way that some um, heroic figure that you really admire which could be uh, a movie star a, your favorite singer it could be someone you find very attractive an old boyfriend a girlfriend or something like that um, but it could also equally well be James Randi it really could be or Michael Shermer one of those figures you look up to um, uh, whatever whatever sort of person you look up to as a, as a heroic figure may turn up in this dream in about seven days after you've learned this idiomotor um, effect and been able to experience it yourself so um, this is all part of the, the magician's magic and um, you get a few dreams about this and it's, it's good fun to write them down and compare them with other people's um, it's a fascinating thing to do especially for skeptics now if you've never dreamed before and some people don't it's highly likely you will commence this vivid dreaming in the next seven days just by practicing this little effect every day okay so um, vivid messaging dreams coming your way as you practice this wonderful uh, idiomotor effect and um, can I also say that with respect to these uh, vivid messaging dreams there is in fact a million dollar prize involved and um, I'll just sort of tantalize you with that and I won't say any more except that you'll need to ask me about that okay um, so how does that sound is that a good deal you got something for nothing and uh, a wonderful subject you can play around with the idiomotor effect um, well described and acknowledged and discussed at great length by the great James Randi I'll leave you here what the idiomotor effect actually feels like so I'm going to give you a little demonstration here of how easy it is to actually experience 
Now, when you can do this, you can show it to other people and you can speak with some authority when you're uh, talking to other people that you might consider too gullible for their own good. Okay? So, Well, hello there, skeptics. Uh, Steve here in Sydney. I've got something to show you uh, that people often mistake for a paranormal effect, when in fact it's simply the well-known idiomotor response that James Randi often talks about with some authority. It's the idiomotor effect is well known to mainstream psychology, mainstream science, is acknowledged by James Randi, talked about by his good self, and. Uh, I just thought uh, any skeptic interested might like to personally experience. Uh, it's really this simple and uh, it seems like a magician's trick and I suppose in some ways it is. It's certainly a very pleasing thing. It can be done in company and parties. Uh, it can amuse people at the bus stop. But um, this very simple idiomotor effect is a simple natural physiological effect um, greatly overblown and thought to be paranormal by some of the more gullible people in society. But here we go, magician's trick done like this, it's so simple. Now can you do this with me, skeptics? Hands out like this in front of you, and all we do is clap four times. One, two, three, four. 